So for this expression, we need a common denominator, and that's just going to be the denominator on the left times the denominator on the right. Think of this, this is like if we were doing fractions like one seventh plus uh, two ninths, there's, there's no common factors between seven and nine. So the way we would have to add these is by doing seven times nine, because now I would multiply um, this number times nine and this number times seven to, to, to figure that out. So essentially we're doing the same thing here. Uh, X plus four and X plus three don't have any common factors. Um, so we have to multiply them together. And now you can just leave it like that. But you have to realize now we're multiplying. It's kind of like cross multiplying at this point. You have to do X times X plus three and then plus three times X plus four. And now what we really do not want to do is start canceling because this, this addition comes before that division and all this multiplication comes before that division. That blue division bar is the last thing we do. Um, so I'm gonna rewrite the X plus four and the X plus three. So we have to multiply first. So we get X squared plus three X here. And then here we get three X plus 12. And now this means we're gonna add all of this together x squared plus 6x plus 12, because 3x and 3x make the 6x. Now, uh, the only way we could cancel is if maybe the top, maybe we could factor the top. Are there two numbers that multiply to get 12 and add to get 6? Six? Uh, 6 plus 2, four, or 6 times 2 is 12, 4 times 3 is 12. No, there's nothing, so we can't factor that. So that means this is done. Uh, that is all we can do here. You could also, um, now that we've realized the top is done, you could multiply the bottom now and get x squared plus 7x plus 12. And now the danger here, the danger here, if you get that far, is to start canceling and saying, well, this cancels with this, this cancels with this, and this cancels with this. So all I have is 6 over 7. But that's just bogus. That is, there's no way that all of this every time, no matter what X is, would get six over seven. We're breaking a lot of order of operations here. So do not do that. I need to go back. This is actually the answer. This one right here is the answer that quizzes wants you to type or to choose.